Welcome to this introduction into the operation of Munter's patented dry cool air treatment system. Here we explain why the innovative system is up to 65% more energy efficient than standard cool and reheat air conditioning systems. The first stage of dehumidification in the system is cooling the air from 32 degrees Celsius, 50% relative humidity, down to 10 degrees Celsius, 100% RH, using, in this example, two cooling coils. One of the coils is powered by chilled water, but this could also be DX, as per customer requirements. Then you have the second coil in the dry cool module, which, powered by a single compressor, will do the second stage of cooling to get to the 10 degrees Celsius, 100% RH, as it enters the desiccant wheel. Further in the system, as the air moves through the desiccant wheel, the air is further dehumidified and slightly heated up, as in this example, to 20 degrees Celsius, 32% RH, before exiting the system and supplying air to the room at 21 degrees Celsius, 30% RH. On the return air side, we have building return air entering the system at 25 degrees Celsius, 55% RH, which is then heated up in the condenser coil to 42 degrees Celsius, which will then regenerate the desiccant wheel so the air will exit the system at 29 degrees Celsius to ambient air. This explains the operation of Munter's dry cool system. The first and second stage dehumidification is designed to maximize energy efficiency as the first stage of cooling is optimized at 14 degrees Celsius before being taken down in this example to 10 degrees Celsius and the second stage dehumidification uses Munter's desiccant wheel. Munter's desiccant drying wheel operates by passing the supply airstream through a slowly revolving desiccant wheel. The slowly revolving wheel continuously passes a desiccant segment with accumulated moisture through a reactivation sector airstream where the recovered heat from the dry cool process is used to drive off the accumulated moisture. Another very energy efficient approach is in the refrigeration cycle inside Munter's dry cool module. As you are familiar with, when air is cooled down, the media in the heat exchanger, either water or refrigerant, will be heated up as it takes out heat from the air. Normally, this excess heat is rejected to the outside air as a continuous cycle. The dry cool system, however, takes this continuous reject heat process and transfers this heat energy into our condenser which is then given back to the regeneration airstream to reactivate the desiccant wheel. This balances the process in the dry cool system in the most energy efficient way. Munter's patented dry cool system will condition most indoor spaces, including supermarkets, offices, schools and production facilities, whilst being up to 65% more energy efficient than traditional cool and reheat air conditioning systems.